What's up, Rise to the Top family? Hope all you guys are doing well. And today's a very special video. We're gonna be starting our series on how to trade options in the stock market. I'm gonna be showing you along the journey how the stock market has impacted me and my family's life and how we were able to gain financial freedom through the stock market. And hopefully it inspires you to start your stock market and money management business. So we're gonna get right into it. What I want you to do is get comfortable, get a notebook, and get ready to get into the world of options trading. So what is the stock market? The stock market is a place where people buy and sell parts of companies called shares. When you buy a share, you own a small piece of that company. Share prices go up or down depending on how the company performs and market conditions. So think about the stock market like a digital marketplace. Think of the stock market like a big marketplace where shares of companies are bought and sold. Imagine like a digital mall filled with companies, stores, and instead of buying clothes, you're buying parts of businesses. An example, if you buy shares in Apple, you now own a tiny piece of Apple. Now you can tell your friends, tell your family, hey, I'm an owner of Apple. Now I'm going to tell you why do we use shares and what is the tool and the utility for shares. We use shares as a long-term tool for growth. Benefits include growing wealth over time time through compound interest, receiving dividends, potential stock splits, which increase your shares and even the option to borrow against your stocks. So guys, we're going to have separate classes on long-term investing and using shares for long-term investing, but definitely you guys should be investing long-term in the market for your retirement, for your IRA, your 401k to be able to pay yourself back for all the hard work you've done throughout your life. So what are stock options? Now that we know that we use shares as a long-term tool for investing, what do we use options for? Stock options let us profit from short-term stock price movements. Whether prices go up or down, they allow us to capitalize on daily, weekly, and monthly changes in value, making it easier for us to benefit short-term trends that might not be as profitable with a regular stock. So it lets us really take benefit of those intraday movements that we see in a stock. When you see, for example, Apple going up $6, or when you see, for example, Microsoft or NVIDIA going up 6 or $5, you can take advantage of that move using options. So why trade options over stocks? Options can give a faster and often larger return with a smaller initial investment compared to stocks due to leverage. You make money faster with options because they let you control more of a stock for less cash up front. This leverage boosts potential profits. Instead of paying thousands of dollars for 100 shares, you can pay much less for an option controlling those shares. If the stock moves in your favor, these gains can be higher in percentage terms than if you own the stock directly. So in this video, we're going to learn the key terminology of options. We're going to learn what an option contract is, what exactly are the key terms in an option, and we're going to go over some real life examples that are going to help you put it all together. Stock options are contracts that let you buy or sell a stock at a set price by a certain date. There are two types, calls and puts. A call option gives you the right to buy a stock up. A put option gives you the right to sell a stock down. People use options to make money from the stock market in both directions without actually owning any stock. So just think about it like a contract. If you make a contract, let's say with me, I said, Brandon, I need you to do this by this date. It's the same exact thing. An option contract is making a contract with the market saying, I will see X company go up past its price by this date. And by the time it does that, the market needs to reward you. So the market will reward you based upon your analysis and the direction of the market moving in your analysis's direction. Think about it just like a contract. If you make a contract with somebody to do a certain amount of work by a certain amount of time, then you reward them. It's the same exact thing. You make a contract with the stock market. This stock will go up past this price by this certain time and market you need to reward me if my analysis completes itself same thing as you would reward somebody for completing their contract every option has a strike price expiration date and contract multiplier we need to learn these terms to understand option prices and what an option represents a strike price is the specific price chosen when trading an option the closer the stock price gets to your strike price, the more valuable your option becomes. Once the stock price goes past your strike price, your option is considered in the money and you start to make more profit. And we're going to go over multiple examples using the strike price, using the expiration date. And basically the strike price is you telling the market, hey market, this company is going to go past this price by this certain date 
and you have to reward me once this market and once this company goes past this price. So it's just adding detail into a contract, just like how you would add specific details into a contract with a business or someone, you would add detail in this contract with the market. The expiration date is the deadline for your option contract. If the stock price doesn't move favorably by this date, you may lose the entire investment. This is due to something called time decay, which means the value of an option decreases as the expiration date approaches. Now, same thing, Brandon, if you don't complete this job, I contracted you for, you're not going to get paid. And it's the same exact thing in an option contract. Now, don't get scared, folks. You're not going to lose your entire investment. There's going to be videos on risk management, and you guys are going to learn how well we mitigate our risk to be able to maximize our profits. And I'm going to give you guys a free risk management plan so you guys can follow your risk to a T and make sure that you're managing your money like a business. When you buy or sell options, you're dealing with a contract that represents 100 shares of the underlying stock. This is known as the contract multiplier. One option contract represents 100 shares of the underlying stock. So this is done for you on your trading terminal and on your trading software, but you guys got to know that one contract, one option contract represents 100 shares or represents the control of 100 shares. So let's imagine this scenario to put it all together and give you a representation of something you guys are used to, to build out a contract and show you how an option contract works. You find a house you're interested in because you believe it's valuable in increase. The house costs $200,000 today, but instead of buying it outright, you want to invest a smaller amount to see if it goes up in value as you expect. Here's how you do it using a call option. So we're bringing this example to a house, something that we're all used to, that we're familiar with. Step one, buying a call option on the house. You decide to buy a call option on the house with a strike price of $200,000. This option gives you the right to own the house for $200,000 anytime within the next six months. The cost or premium. To secure this option, you pay a premium of $10,000. This $10,000 is what you invest upfront, giving you ownership of the house at the agreed price if it goes up in value. So this is how an option contract would be built out. Your strike price would be at 200,000, your expiration date would be six months out, and your cost to own this option is $10,000. So you see how we're using our leverage of our capital and using the assets value to make money with the leverage and the investment that we've put in without actually owning and putting up the entire 200,000 in the property. The house increases in value. Fast forward and your analysis was spot on. The house's value skyrockets to 350,000 within the next six months period. Because of the option, you still have the ownership right for $200,000, even though now it's worth 350,000. That's a $150,000 increase or 75% increase on the value of the property, which makes now your option extremely valuable. Profit on the option. Since you paid $10,000 for the option, its value has increased dramatically. In the options market, the contract is now worth $17,500, reflect, reflecting the house's increased value. So the original option cost was $10,000. The new value is 17,500. Your profit is 7,500 or 75% return on your initial investment. By paying $10,000 upfront for the option instead of the full $200,000, you were able to capture the house's increased value as if you owned it. In the end, you made a 75% gain on the option or 7,500 profit without ever having to buy the house outright. And this is how we use our money in the options market to leverage more shares to be able to make more money on our initial investment. This is how call options work. They allow you to benefit from an asset's increase in value without paying the full price upfront. It's like placing a down payment on the potential upside. So let's bring this back to the stock market. So here's an example with Apple, buying a call option. You buy a call option for Apple with a strike price of 150. This means you have ownership rights of 100 shares of Apple at 150 within the next month. Your expiration date would be 30 days out. The, the option would expire in one month. The cost of the option is $5 per share. Since one option contract represents 100 shares, the total cost is 5 times 100, so it would be $500. Think of this $500 as your upfront investment to profit from Apple stock going up. Apple stock price increases. 
Great news. Within that day, Apple stock price rises to 170 per share. Now your option is considered in the money because Apple stock is trading above your 150 strike price. So the current stock price would be 170 and your strike price would be 150. So let's calculate how much money we made. Apple is now at 170, but you have the strike price at 150. The difference is $20 per share. Total profit, right? Since one contract controls 100 shares, your gross profit is 20 times 100, and that's $2,000. Now we gotta subtract the initial investment. We, in, we initially paid $500 for the option. So $2,000 minus 500, our net profit is $1,500. So think about it like this. We would actually need $15,000 to be able to buy 100 shares. But with an option contract, we're able to have the control of those 100 shares and use our money with our initial investment to make money off the move or off the increase in the stock. So here's a summary of the trade. Our option investment was $500. The premium paid up front. The stock increased from 150 to 170. Our gross profit was $2,000 and our net profit was $1,500. By using a call option, you managed to control 100 shares of Apple with just a $500 investment. When the stock rose to $170, your net profit was $1,500, all without ever having to buy and hold shares themselves. This is the power of options. They offer leverage and can significantly amplify your returns when the stock price moves in your favor. So now let's go over a call option because I really want to make sure that I do reinforcement so you guys can really understand the value that you're getting here and understand also what is a call option, what is a put option, and how can I make money in this in the stock market? Now, I gave you the example of the house, and I gave you the example of using Apple as well, right? Basically, we're using leverage. We're leveraging our money to buy an asset or have more control over an asset without buying the asset outright, which allows us to make the percentage return the asset makes on our initial investment. The call option is the type of order used when traders want to take opportunity to the upside of the market. As the market goes above our entry point, our call option increases in profit. This allows traders to capitalize on bullish market movements and potentially maximize their returns. The intrinsic value of the call option rises as the underlying asset price escalates, which can lead to significant gains if the market trends favorably. For example, if you believe that a stock is currently trading at 100, and will rise to 120 in the near future, you will purchase a call option with a strike price of 105. If the stock price surpasses 105, your call option increases in value, allowing you to sell the option for a profit, benefiting from the difference. This is what it looks like on a chart. We observe an upwards trend in the market alongside with our strike price entry. So we use call options to take opportunity to the upside of the market. Put option. The put option is a type of order used when traders want to take opportunity to the downside of the market. As the market goes below our entry point, our put option increases in profit. This allows traders to capitalize on bearish market movements and potentially maximize their returns. The intrinsic value of the put option rises as the underlying asset price goes down, which can lead to significant gains in the market if the trend continues bearish. For example, if you believe that a stock is currently trading at 100 and will go down to 80 in the near future, you will purchase a put option with a strike price of 95. If the stock price goes below 95, your put option increases in value, allowing you to sell the option for a profit benefiting from the difference. This is what it looks like on the chart. We observe a downwards trend in the market alongside with our strike price entry. So yeah, as we went over the foundation of the option market. We learned what is an option contract? Why do we use option contracts over shares as a short-term investment tool? We went over what is in the contract, the strike price, the expiration date. We learned what a contract multiplier is, that one option contract equals 100 shares. Now in the next episodes, we're going to be doing a lot of reinforcement on this, but we're also now going to get into the charts. We're going to learn about candlesticks. We're going to learn about market structure. We're going to learn about trends. We're going to learn about support and resistance. So subscribe. Make sure you're gaining this free value. Make sure you're pausing on each slide and taking notes. Remember, note takers are money makers. I hope you gain value out of this. We use call options to take opportunity to the upside. We use put options to take opportunity to the downside. And we learn the terminology of what exactly is an option contract. It's a contract we're making with the market, just like how you would make a contract with someone that's working on your house, someone that's working on a service that you're buying. It's the same exact thing. 
just we're making the contract with the market i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys gained value out of this video please like and subscribe and also comment if you want to see any other types of videos or if you have any questions in this video that i didn't cover i will definitely cover in other videos we're going to do a lot of reinforcement on this topic and we're going to make sure that you guys get it down packed at rise to the top i appreciate you guys for watching god bless you guys be safe and i'll see you in the markets